Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, let's try this one. Um, prove by induction that the sum of r is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2, where r goes between 1 and n. Okay, so the sigma notation here means this value or that's to the right of that sigma sign goes between 1 and n, and we sum them all up or we add them. So my lowest value of or, and I can see it here at the bottom, is 1. And we sum them all up because that's what the sigma sign means, and we sum them all up to n. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, dot, dot up to n is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2 for any n, a natural number. OK, so it's actually the exact same question that we did um, a few minutes ago. OK, just written in a different format that may catch you out. So watch out for that sigma notation and watch out here that it's starting at 1. OK, because it's very easy to put in a different value there. So again, we uh, prove true, show true. for n is equal to 1. So my first term on this side is, is that 1 there. So we're always showing the left hand side equals the right. And I'm going to sub in 1 then for n here. OK, so this is my p of 1. So 1 times 1 plus 1 over 2. And um, so that's true. 1 is equal to 1 is what I've shown there. Then we assume true for n is equal to k. So in other words, uh, n takes on the value k. So what does that look like on the left-hand side? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, dot, dot up to k is equal to. And then on the right-hand side, n assumes the value k. So that just means you sub in that, that letter k anytime you see n. OK, and now step three, you must prove true for n is equal to k plus 1. So on my left hand side, that would look like 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot, 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 plus k plus k plus 1. OK, so what do we do when we have to prove a true for any natural number? So we're showing a true for the for the lowest one. N is equal to 1. We're then assuming it's true for a random value in the middle. N is equal to k. And then we're proving it tr true for one value up from k, which is k plus 1. And the reason we do it with letters and not n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, is the fact that if you prove it true for letters, which is what we call the, the generic case, then it's true for any n a natural number. OK, so this is what we're doing when we prove it true then for k plus 1. So all of these k's here would become k plus 1. So there's my first k plus 1. And then in the bracket, I have k plus 1 here. Then, of course, I have another plus one over two. OK. And working from the left hand side here. For the sequence that's up to K, I'm going to use this assumption that I made just here. OK, so when I made this assumption for n is equal to k, I said that the, the, the sum of the values from 1 to k is k times k plus 1 over 2. So for the sum of these values here, I'm saying that's the same as k times k plus 1 over 2. And of course, I have an extra term here, so I have to add on that k plus 1. And I want to show that that's true for, let me tidy up the right hand side, k plus 1. In the second bracket, I have k plus 2 over 2. OK, so I'm going to continue working now from the left hand side. That's what I mean by LHS. So I'm going to get a common denominator here for this term. OK, so it'll be k times k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1 over 2. OK, all I did was get a common denominator there. OK, and it's a bit like a cross multiply if, if you think of it that way. I'm going to multiply it out because it's one easy way of showing the left hand side equals the right. 
So I have k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2 over 2 or k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. So that's my right hand side. I'm sorry, that's my left hand side. I'm now going to look, look at the right hand side. Let's multiply him out. And you end up with k squared plus 2k. I'm just doing this here, multiplying each of the bits out, plus k plus 2 all over 2. Or again, k squared plus 3k plus 2 over 2. You can, of course, manipulate this here and show that it is equal to this. That is perfectly fine, and it's also a very common way of doing it. Or you can multiply them out, which is what I'm doing here. So I'm now saying the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So therefore, I have shown that the condition n is equal to k plus 1 um, holds true. Assuming p of k is true. OK, and I have to put that piece in because I made the assumption that it was true and then I used it as part of my proof. OK, so that is why I have to include it here in the conclusion that P of K plus one holds true, assuming P of K is true. P of one is also true, which is the minimum number. Therefore, P of N and P of N is just a, a functions notation for whatever statement I was given. P of n holds true for all n an element of n, which I got from here. So you can see I gave it in maths language in this question because they gave it to me in maths language. When I did it a few minutes ago, they said the first n natural numbers, I just wrote it that way. So it doesn't matter which way you give your conclusion um, as long as it's generally in, the, in this form. So watch out for the sigma notation piece. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.